to the challenge brief history lesson. This lesson is on the floral pectoral himself. That's right, Zach Nichols. Now, Zach made his MTV debut on The Real World San Diego in 2011, where during that season he struck up a romantic relationship with his castmate Ashley. He also had strong stances against the lifestyle decisions of Sam and Frank. By the season's end, Sam and Zach were very, very close together. He still had his relationship with Ashley, but he had a complicated relationship with Frank. Now go on to 2012 where Zach made his MTV Challenge debut on Battle of the Season, season 23 of the Challenge, where he was on a team of three of his castmates from the real world San Diego with Sam, Frank, Ashley, and Zach. They were a rookie team, they came into the challenge, and they showed off early that they were not a team to mess with as they were winning daily challenges. They only saw two arenas or two eliminations that season. Both Zach and Sam went into both of those and beasted them out. Not only did they not lose a single team member to an elimination, but they made it to the finals and they won in their rookie season. It's super impressive that they could work as a team, as a rookie team, and make it through to the finals. They won it, they split the $250,000 grand prize four ways, and they were on top of the world! Now fast forward to the next season, season 24, called Rivals, where Zach was paired up with with Trey from the real world St. Thomas. Now Trey and Zach had some beef that, from the previous season and they were coming in as rivals. They won the first two daily challenges so everything was looking up. Zach was ready to defend his crown. However, they were thrown into an elimination early and they were disqualified, cutting their season short as in the elimination, Zach broke the rules and they were DQ'd. The next season, Zach was back in season 25, free agents, where Zach was in his element. This was a solo challenge. He was ready to beast this out. He only went into one elimination. However, Zach made it all the way to the finals, and then came his most infamous, famous thing about him, where he started getting a cramp on the hill while being teamed up with Laurel. Zach ultimately took home third place in that season and he was ready to get back and redeem himself in season 26 called Battle of the Exes 2 where he was paired up with his ex John A. Now they won one daily challenge, however they were thrown in to an elimination in episode 8 where they went up against Jordan and Sarah and they ultimately lost that one to the challenge season champions. They just didn't know it at that point. There was a twist that season where there was a redemption house off screen Post-production, they went up against Nani and Bananas and lost, so they were kicked out of the season totally. Fun fact about Battle of the Exes 2, that's where Zack and Jenna actually met, had their first kiss, and struck up a romantic relationship there. And that's where their on-again, off-again relationship throughout the years really stems from is Battle of the Exes 2. Now, they're together today, so I guess we don't really need to know every single facet of their relationship, as long as Zach doesn't call Jenna Brooke again. Speaking of Brooke, Zach took a two-season hiatus and then returned for season 29 called Invasion of the Chance, where he was part of the twist that season, where a handful of challenged champions came in quarter through the season to shake up the game, and he came into the season with a group with names like Kara, Darrell, Laurel, and bananas. However, Zach did not stay long as two episodes after walking in, he was kicked out in an elimination going up against Darrell, one of the goats. Come back to season 31, Vendettas, where Zach was back and he was ready to attack. This season, he was on fire. He won six daily challenges and didn't see a single elimination. He went into the finals, ready to claim the first ever solo winner of the challenge. However, he came in second place just behind Kara, but he took home $150,000 all by himself. And Zach was back and he was ready for anything. He was back for Final Reckoning the next season ready to get back to the final glory. However, he was paired up with probably his harshest and most critical critic, Amanda, where they shared nothing in common except for hatred for one another. However, they made a really, really good team as they were winning daily challenges. They never saw a single, they were never voted into it in a single elimination until it got to a head where they just could not compromise. It came down to voting either for Bananas and Tony or uh, Ashley and Hunter. And Amanda wasn't going to vote in Ashley and Hunter. 
and Zach wasn't going to vote in for Bananas and Tony, so they ultimately had to go into the elimination and fight for themselves to stay in this game. However, they lost that to the mercenaries. They went to the redemption house, but during that elimination, Zach actually suffered getting hit in the nose, which like ruptured something. It was so blue. It looked like a balloon was just stuck in his nose. Medical was looking at him and he had to be medically removed from the game, disqualifying not only him but Amanda as well. It was such a shame. They were looking to lock in a finals run during that season, but coulda, shoulda, woulda. The next season in the War of the Worlds, that's when Zack was paired up with Zahida and they saw two eliminations. They went up against Bananas and Morgan and they won that in episode two. However, they went up against Wes and D in episode five and fell to the Elimination King, Wes himself, and Zack was out. Episode 5, peace and out, but he's back for War of the Worlds 2, where we've seen him doing really, really great in a team setting. He's doing great stuff for the Team US, even though he's not in the number numbers, but he's also not threatening Kara and Polly's Polly's power in the game to where he's one of the ones that they want him out next. No, he's riding the fence. He's a professional fence rider right now and he's kind of just like in the middle. He's kind of sweet and he's just like floating there a little bit. So he's doing a good job. It looks like he's going to make it to the finals, but what do you think? Do you think Zach is going to make it into the finals for War of the Worlds 2? Let me know that in the comment section below. Do you stand Zach or can you not stand Zach? Let me know that in the comment section below. I will say that he's been doing some fun stuff and really good stuff for the Team US except for Ninja and kind of yelling at some of the women throughout the seasons, throughout his years on the challenge. What do you think about Zach ultimately and who do you want to see next on the brief history? I have some names uh, for near future stuff, but what? who do you want to see in the brief history? Which brief history do you want to see, whether it's current people that are coming onto the challenge or past competitors or goats of the challenge let me know i want to hear everything and everything from you guys but while you're down there hit that like and subscribe button i'll be back really really soon with more challenge videos got going in blind tuesday nights the challenge review and recap on thursday nights and brief history on saturdays but until then peace